If you engage with the Final Fantasy XIV community on social media, you probably saw the PvP cheating livestream that stole everyone's attention. This stream was pretty wild, getting over 100,000 views across multiple streaming platforms out of nowhere just the other day. More than just a quick way to get banned, this stream represents a deep problem within the PvP community and I want to talk about that, why this cheating stream happened in the first place, and why I think it's not going to be solved anytime soon. If you don't follow PvP at all, back when 6.1 came out last year, Final Fantasy XIV got a humongous update to PvP. Not only was the exciting new mode, Crystalline Conflict, added, but they also did a full revamp of the PvP systems with a massive streamlining of the combat, reducing the amount of skills across the board to make it much more approachable. The launch was considered a pretty huge success and many people, especially those who didn't normally play PvP, were excited to try out the new mode. Queue times are super fast and it felt like the whole Wolves Den was really active. This put a spotlight on PvP and some big issues that had existed before. Lots of people were noticing weird behavior going on and that's when it came to light that there was a pretty big scene for PvP cheating in the game. Things like speed hacks to being able to use certain skills automatically started to get a lot of attention. For example, PvP Samurai can apply a self buff that will allow them to one shot anyone who hits them while this buff is active. Cheaters were able to do things like automatically untargeting a Samurai faster than any human could the moment this was detected which meant that they didn't have to watch or react to the Samurai's buffs. That's just one example, and I probably don't have to explain why flying or speed hacks can be problematic as well. Alongside the cheating, win trading became known as something really affecting the ranked queues. Win trading is when players make agreements to throw a match on playing against each other to help the other person to rank up. Behavior like this is obviously bad, but as far as I can tell, people are still getting away with it today. Both the cheating and the win trading over the year and a half since 6.1 came out have really taken a toll on the reputation of PvP as a whole, especially since Crystalline Conflict is the highlighted mode. That's where the live stream comes in. It seems as though this person chose to put these cheats on display to get more eyes on the issues. The general sentiment I've seen is that Square doesn't care enough about stopping the players who are ruining the experience for others. I mean, think about it for a moment. If you compare other PvP games, there's a ton of work that goes into stopping cheaters. A lot of modern games can detect and ban these players automatically. Even though there is a menu to report cheating, it's pretty out of the way and the only option you get when clicking on a player is to report them for real money trading, so that's not very useful in the first place. Between that and the win trading, people who enjoy PvP just want it to be taken more seriously. From what I've seen, it sounds like bans can take months to happen if they even do in the first place, and when they do, they may not last more than a few days. Nobody likes playing against cheaters and I think it's a reasonable ask to want fair matches when you play PvP. This is true for pretty much every multiplayer game out there. Bringing more awareness, at least on the surface, seems like a good way to get more attention, and hopefully comments or support from Square on the issue. The problem is, I don't think that it will do much of anything. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say thanks. We just hit 1,000 subscribers earlier this month, which is my big goal to get monetized, and now I'm partnered on YouTube. Because of this, I gained the ability to enable memberships on the channel, so if anyone wants to support me, that's a great way to do it. While I'm still figuring out the benefits for this, it'll at least give you access to a special channel on my Discord, behind the scenes community posts for members only about the videos I'm working on, and early access to uploads. Anyway, thanks a bunch for the support, and it means a lot that you've watched this far. Now let's get back to it. Now first of all, I'm not going to say that Square doesn't try to handle cheaters. They consistently post reports of bans they dished out on the lodestone focused on botters and RMT behavior. That said, I truly think that their hands are a little tied here. For one, PvP just isn't a big focus of the game. Hiring more staff just to manage and handle cheating might not be the best use of their resources. Only a small portion of the player base ever touches PvP in the first place. It's definitely not a priority like raiding or MSQ are. Aside from that, the biggest problem is, let's say Square decides to take a bigger stand on third party tools in PvP. How would they even implement this? If Score adds third party detection to the game, which they explicitly have stated that they do not want to do, this doesn't just affect PvP cheaters. Final Fantasy XIV has a massive third party ecosystem from things like quality of life and accessibility tools to things that help raiders out like parsers and buff trackers. And then there's a massive community of people who love to use customized mods for their characters to add things like hair, makeup, and outfits for G posing and roleplay, as well as just general gameplay. I have no doubt that Square is aware of how huge these scenes are. And while it mostly operates under a don't ask, don't tell policy, it's also just important because it affects a large portion of the player base. They simply can't ignore that a lot of people continue to play even in content droughts because mods and third party plugins allow people to make their own fun, which means that they keep an active subscription. The modern expectations of PvP anti-cheat tools that you might see in other games don't really make sense in 14. In the past 28 days, FF Logs, which is practically the hub of Final Fantasy XIV rating on the internet, had over 546,000 unique viewers. That's over half a million people. Whatever your thoughts are on parsing, nobody can deny that it plays a big part in keeping the rating scene alive. Would something like this being added to help out PvP be worth the cost of losing players from all other types of content? 
Probably not if you ask most players. It really does suck to think that different parts of the game are at odds with each other in this way, especially as someone who loves PvP, but I truly believe that this is the tragic reality of PvP cheating in Final Fantasy XIV. Maybe things like more server-side detection for things such as move speed hacks and flight could exist, but this is most likely harder to add than anyone could know because of how complicated MMO development is, especially with the game this old. All in all, I do hope that the PvP scene can see more support, at least in the form of quicker bans and better moderation, and maybe also a Rival Wings roulette, but in any case, I'll see y'all in the next video.